Finally tonight, a story that begins back in 1860. Three women in Hartford, Connecticut opened their doors to boys who were out on the streets to give them a positive alternative. And thus the Boys and Girls Club began, changing a lot of lives, including some very famous ones. Here's ABC's Terry Moran. For some kids, growing up is so hard. My father was a, a drug leader. I ended up being abandoned by my parents. I felt like I was nobody. I felt like I had nothing. I could be nothing. They almost didn't make it, these remarkable young people, but they did. They're the youths of the year of the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, and now they dream so big. My plan is to work my way up the Boys and Girls Club ladder all the way up to CEO one day. You want to run the Boys and Girls Clubs? Of course. <laughs> of course. I will. What makes the difference? Or better, who? These doors transform. This starry new public service announcement from the Boys and Girls Clubs of America, directed by Ron Howard, proclaims a simple message. They all made it. With help from strong, caring adults, they met at their local clubs. Shaquille O'Neal and General Wesley Clark, Smokey Robinson, Mario Lopez, Martin Sheen, and so many more. I just live there. Denzel Washington, who for almost 20 years has been the national spokesperson for the Boys and Girls Clubs, started going to his local club when he was six years old, where they provided hot meals, sports, and educational opportunities, and much more. What works? Why do Boys and Girls Clubs make such a difference? I think because there are people in your life every day that care for you. It's a safe comfortable, loving environment. Jennifer Lopez started singing and dancing at the Boys and Girls Club in the South Bronx. It just gave me a great sense of hope and it really, really kick-started my dreams. Four million kids at nearly 4,000 clubs across America. That's a lot of dreams. And with a little help and a lot of hard work, dreams can come true. Terry Moran, ABC News, Washington.